Most of us learned in school that the Pythagorean theorem, A2 plus B2 equals sine C2, was discovered by the Greek philosopher Pythagoras. But what if I told you that this famous equation wasn't his invention? Today, we're diving into the rich and ancient history of mathematics to uncover the true origins of this theorem. From the temples of Egypt to the tablets of Babylon, civilizations across the world have been using this relationship long before Pythagoras formalized it. Mathematical knowledge, like many human achievements, is built upon layers of discovery across generations and cultures. While Pythagoras played a crucial role in formalizing the geometric proof, his credit is only one part of a larger story that spans millennia. Ancient scholars didn't have modern notation or tools, but their intuitive grasp of mathematical principles laid the groundwork for what would later be credited to Pythagoras. Correlating fact. The theorem was known in ancient Babylon over a thousand years before Pythagoras. The Babylonians were one of the earliest civilizations to understand the principles behind the Pythagorean theorem. Clay tablets dating back to 1800 BCE show calculations that use Pythagorean triples, whole numbers that satisfy the theorem's formula. They applied this knowledge to practical tasks like land measurement and architecture. Their mathematical records, including the famous Plimpton 322 tablet, display an advanced understanding of what we now call the Pythagorean theorem. Interestingly, the Babylonians didn't have modern mathematical symbols. Instead, they used a base 60 numeral system, which made their computations incredibly precise, particularly for astronomical and geometric purposes. They didn't see the theorem as an abstract concept like we do today, but as a practical tool. Correlating fact, the Plimpton 322 tablet found in Babylon contains a table of Pythagorean triples, showing their deep understanding of right triangles long before Pythagoras lived. Egyptians also understood the geometry behind the Pythagorean theorem. The construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza shows precise mathematical knowledge, including the use of right triangles for building angles. Although not explicitly written as A2 plus B2 equals sine C2, their architectural achievements suggest an intuitive understanding of the relationship between the sides of right angled triangles. Ancient Egyptians were master builders. The so-called rope stretchers used a simple yet effective technique. They would tie knots in a rope to create a 3-4-5 triangle, ensuring perfect right angles. This method was crucial for creating large-scale structures like the pyramids. The Rhind Mathematical Papyrus, a key source from this era, includes early geometric problems, some of which bear a resemblance to the Pythagorean theorem. Correlating fact ancient Egyptian texts like the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus, circa 1650 BCE, demonstrate their knowledge of geometric principles. In India, Vedic scholars used similar mathematical principles when designing religious altars. Sacred texts from as early as 800 BCE, such as the Ur, discuss the relationship between the sides of a right triangle, connecting mathematics with spirituality. These ancient texts not only reveal a deep understanding of geometry, but also show how integral math was to Vedic rituals. These altars had to be built to precise specifications with various shapes such as squares, rectangles and triangles, all serving specific religious purposes. The geometric principles behind these constructions echoed what we now understand as the Pythagorean theorem, showing the shared wisdom of the ancient world. Correlating fact, Vedic texts from 800-500 BCE used geometry for religious purposes, which included the use of the theorem in altar construction. Across the world in ancient China, scholars also knew about the theorem. The Zhou Bi Xuan Jing, a mathematical text from around 100 BCE, contains one of the earliest recorded proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. Unlike the Babylonians and Egyptians, who used the theorem for practical tasks like construction, Chinese mathematicians formalized the geometric relationship and wrote it down in a way that resembles the proof we use today. The Zhou Bi Xuan Jing was not just a book of math, it was a comprehensive guide to astronomy and geometry used to measure the heavens and earth. Its inclusion of a proof of the Pythagorean theorem shows how important this concept was across cultures and disciplines. 
The Zhou Bi Xuan Jing provided geometric solutions that aligned with Pythagorean principles. Born around 570 BCE, Pythagoras was more than just a mathematician, he was a philosopher, mystic and religious leader. He founded a school of thought that blended mathematics, spirituality and mysticism, believing that numbers held the key to understanding the universe. While there is no direct evidence that he wrote down the Pythagorean theorem, his followers, known as Pythagoreans, revered him for his insights into the mathematical order of the cosmos. Pythagoras believed that everything in the universe could be understood through numbers and mathematical relationships. This belief extended beyond geometry and into areas like music, where he is credited with discovering the mathematical relationships between musical notes known as the music of the spheres. Pythagoras's followers, the Pythagoreans, believed in the mystical power of numbers and saw mathematical truths as divine. So why does the theorem carry Pythagoras' name? Historians suggest it was because of his school's emphasis on mathematical rigor and formal proofs. While civilizations like Babylon and Egypt applied the theorem practically, Pythagoras and his followers were among the first to provide a logical, geometric proof. This formalization is what allowed the theorem to be passed down through history with his name attached to it. Pythagoras' school not only explored geometry, but also ethics, politics, and even cosmology. The Pythagoreans viewed mathematics as a divine language, which explained why they saw the proof of the theorem as more than a practical tool. It was a spiritual revelation. Pythagoras viewed the theorem geometrically, emphasizing areas rather than numbers as algebra had not yet developed. It wasn't until the 1600s that mathematicians began expressing the theorem in its algebraic form. Before this, the theorem was understood in terms of geometry, not numbers. As algebra grew in prominence during the Renaissance, the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared became the standard way to describe the relationship between the sides of a right triangle. This shift in thinking from geometric to algebraic revolutionized how the theorem was used. It became a fundamental part of algebraic theory and was eventually included in the education of students around the world. Algebraic notation for the Pythagorean theorem only became widespread in the early modern period, transforming how it was applied in fields like science and engineering. The Pythagorean theorem is one of the most well-known equations in the world, taught to students as an essential part of geometry. Yet its legacy extends far beyond the classroom. The theorem has been applied in countless fields, from engineering and architecture to physics and astronomy. Its universality is a testament to the lasting impact of geometry that ancient mathematical wisdom can have. Today, the theorem is used in technology, construction, navigation, and even space exploration. It allows us to calculate distances between points, build stable structures, and understand the physical world in ways that ancient mathematicians could never have imagined. The simplicity of the theorem hides its profound impact on human progress. The Pythagorean theorem isn't just a tool for human-made structures. Its principles can be found throughout nature, from the spirals of seashells to the patterns of tree branches, right angles and geometric relationships are everywhere. This reveals the deeper connection between mathematics and the natural world, a connection that ancient scholars intuitively understood. Just as Pythagoras and his followers believed that numbers and geometry were the keys to understanding the cosmos, modern scientists have discovered that many of nature's most beautiful forms follow mathematical rules. These patterns are a reminder that the theorem is not merely a human creation, but a fundamental part of the universe itself. As we've seen, the Pythagorean theorem has roots in many ancient cultures. Though it carries Pythagoras' name, it represents the collective wisdom of civilizations spanning the globe. The journey of this theorem, from Babylonian clay tablets to modern classrooms, is a testament to the power of human discovery and the enduring influence of ancient knowledge. In the end, the Pythagorean theorem isn't just about triangles. It's a story of human curiosity, ingenuity, and the desire to understand the world around us, a story that stretches back thousands of years and continues to shape our future.
We hope this journey has given you a new perspective on one of the most famous equations in history. Remember, behind every discovery lies a long lineage of thinkers, each building on the work of those who came before. Thank you for watching.